Top 10 Most Aggressive Dog Breeds Hello folks, welcome to Just Top 10. Dogs have been part of human civilization since the beginning of their domestication. They were used for protecting livestock because of their instinctive guarding ability. These animals are remarkably intelligent, which makes them good and loyal companions. While often described as man's best friend, these animals were not meant to communicate directly with humans. According to American Temperament Tests a society recorded attacks an aggressive temperament according to average size, these are the top 10 most aggressive dog breeds in the world. On number 10, we have, Siberian Husky. Huskies were a traditional breed of domesticated dogs used as sled dogs in the northern regions. This breed is very athletic and strong enough to move heavy luggage with thick coats. Huskies have a unique color fur pattern and an impressive face mask with special blue eyes. Husky owners will describe their dog as humble, intelligent, alert, and gentle. However, Huskies are always fired up and hyperactive, which results in aggressive dog behavior that can certainly come out in some way or another. The Siberian Huskies, however, is a dangerous breed. On number 9, we have Boxer Dog Breed. Boxers are hunting dogs because human beings have used them as attacking dogs during hunts. They've got a strong jaw and dog bite force perfect to protect. Most boxers are dominant dogs and show aggression against other male dogs. They are sometimes aggressive to humans as well. Like huskies, many of the attacks by the boxers involve children as they don't know how to act around them. If owners cannot handle this breed properly, situations can become dangerous and even fatal. Boxers were originally bred to hunt in Germany as companion dogs and sometimes for dog fighting. You will never know how or when aggressive instincts might kick in. One more thing to remember when training boxers is that we should avoid punishments and harsh treatment as it may provoke them. On number 8, we have, Akita Inu. An Akita doesn't stand back or get scared easily from threats. They are therefore courageous and faithful stewards of their families but only if properly socialized and trained, they are caring, friendly, and fun dogs. If an Akita dog is in an anxious state, it is likely prone to attack, if agitated. A dog, especially Akita, considers long-term eye contact to be a challenge, which can be violent at any moment. Sometimes they are often hostile to other dogs, especially same-sex ones. That's why Akita's is best suited for single pet households, otherwise, they may harm other dogs. On number 7, Alaskan Malamute. An Alaskan Malamute is like the Siberian or Alaskan Husky but is a much larger breed. Generally, they're not aggressive dogs as many owners will tell you as Malamutes are good with people, including children. The main problem, however, is that the Malamute, like the Husky, has a lot of energy that needs to be used on productive use, sledding or hunting. Unless we find a way to transmute their hyperactiveness or use it for work, their behavior could be violent. These dogs require physical and mental stimulation to keep their minds and body healthy. They weigh up to 50 kilograms, so it can surely prove risky to encounter an angry Alaskan Malamute. On number 6, English or Bull Mastiffs. Such dogs are highly sensitive to security and are reliable for dependability. These dogs become incredibly reliable and obedient with consistent training from an early age. However, the Mastiff can be an aggressive breed for various reasons, just like with all dogs. We must train Mastiffs early for socialization. With proper training, dogs learn to distinguish the behavior of friendly people with bad guys. As they can be a suspect threat of everyone outside the family without socialization. Such an approach can lead to unusual stubbornness and aggressive behavior towards owners. With a dog breed of this size, both activities may lead to dangerous situations. On number 5, we have, Wolf Hybrid. As you may predict the behavior of a normal wolf, but cannot comprehend what a wolf dog might do. Wolves are one of the most deadly and biggest carnivores overall, let alone canines. Some breeders report that the hybrids are shy around people, 
while others say that these hybrid dogs usually have the wolf's hunting instincts pointing that hybrids could be the world's deadliest dog breed. These dogs, as you might already perceive, are genetically half wolves half dogs, which can make them unpredictable. They have a wild and challenging mind on their own. Many states have already banned owning a wolf dog in the house as a pet. On number 4, we have, Doberman Pinchers. The Doberman Pinscher is a fearless dog often used in special forces, like the police. Dobermans can weigh up to 100 pounds over other dogs 28 inches tall. Because they have so much energy owners should properly train them as soon as possible. Of course, they are smart dog breeds. But their dominating nature and weight also make it somewhat challenging to learn. Many Doberman owners will describe their pets as loyal, disciplined, energetic, alert, and brave. Maintaining this aggressive dog breed demands extra care. Probably those who failed to do this were those who contributed to the accidents caused by Dobermans. Supporting and strengthening traits such as independence, intelligence, and aggressive tendencies is common among this breed. While the breeding people in recent decades have tried to ease the rage, the Doberman today still responds with meanest aggression towards strangers. On number 3, here it comes, German Shepherd. A German Shepherd is a breed originated back to the 1800s in Germany as cattle dogs. In the United States, the German Shepherd is the second most popular dog breed, also known as Alsatian. No socialization and training can make these dogs likely to attack people, mostly strangers, and smaller dogs. They are integral and necessary aspects of any police force unit all around the world. Most people sometimes call them police dogs for their considerable use in forces. But since they are so credible for fighting crime, they can become dangerous if placed in a difficult situation. The typical German Shepherd who belongs to the family believes that he has one task to protect the family. Accidents could occur with this kind of mindset. So long as German Shepherds see someone, or something, as dangerous for the pack, your German Shepherd will probably attack and defend its family humans or other dogs. The attack can be harmful, and sometimes fatal because it is 25 inches tall and weighs at 80 pounds with 300 pounds of bite force, it is a sheer display of their considerable biting strength. On number second, we have, Rottweiler. Rottweilers are America's most dangerous dog breeds, also known as a bad family dog, particularly for households in which the owner is an amateur without a calm and confident personality. To avoid dangerous reactions, you need to be disciplined and alert continually. Rottweilers were bred to have exceptional strength and good herding dogs and protective instincts. Rottweilers rank second in the United States by the number of dog attacks. Many owners will call them loyal, intimidating, courageous, and trustworthy. Perhaps all the deaths were the effort by robbers to enter the property. On top one, finally, Pitbull. The pit bull is probably the most infamous breeds of dogs on the list. Even by its owners or family, they are considered unpredictable and vicious. State and local governments around the world are strict in restricting this dog's ownership by breed-specific legislation. Originally bred as fighting dogs, a common pit bull mixes extreme aggression, strength, and determination for an attack. Pit bulls are commonly involved in fatal attacks against adults 21 to 54 years of age. Pit bull are fighting dogs and will strive with the determination to do their job until it is over. They have powerful jaws with a strong bite force and are well known for not releasing their bite. Pit bull even today are used in dogfighting, in some countries where the dogs are trained to dog fights until death. All these factors make pit bulls the strongest yet the world's deadliest dog breed. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to suggest us any topic, please comment below.